Yep, now we're recording. We're recording? No, 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 keep it right here. Get out there, too. Am I in the picture? Yep, you're here. Alright, guys. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I actually have a pretty good video for you guys. And uh, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have this week. Most of y'all probably don't, but the ones that who do or the ones that come to my channel because of this video, welcome. So, we're doing the oil filter housing gasket. Um, this was one of the leaks out of the many leaks that happened after my engine overheated. Um, this is mostly caused when your water pump ends up going out and um, all the heat just ends up blowing this little gasket. So, just a few tools that you need. You need this gasket right off the bat. Link's gonna be in the description. I got this for like 12, 15 bucks. And then uh, you need it. I think it's an eight millimeter, eight millimeter swivel socket. Um, I have a picture of that somewhere over here of how the head needs to look. I bought the other one that's like a, a square head that is not the right head. You need this like, what is it, polygon? <laughs> so I'll show you guys Germans. picture over here, some German stuff, all right? I can't be saying that, I'm trying to work at BMW. All right. All right guys, so like I said, we need that eight uh, millimeter swivel, the quarter uh, inch. Ooh, is it good? Yeah, baby. Okay. So this is the six uh, six inch extension that I had to buy, and then this is just the ratchet that I got. I'm pretty sure everyone has a simple ratchet. It's like five dollars, and you get the whole sockets for it and everything. Super cheap at Harbor Freight. So you can see that the swivel is in there. That's why we need this angle part. Unless you want to, what is this thing? We're for honesty. What is this? Is it headers? It's all part of the valve covers and valves and intake and all that good stuff. Okay, you heard him. So we just need the swivel to go underneath there, and you guys can see it's in there, and then you do lefty loosey or righty righty. Lucy, nor counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Oh, that's Run, clockwise. Clockwise right now. Okay. There you go. Look at him go. Okay, let's see if this is gonna work. It's like a regular mechanic. <gasps> No way, dude. <laughs> That's some German it's engineering okay. bullshit, dude. <laughs> nah, it works, it works. Okay. <laughs> the look of fear on your face for that dude, this moment. is bad. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're gonna try. Oh, yo! Yo, guys, it's loose! It's loose! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> guys, it's loose, for real. Like, I'm actually so happy. This is the hardest screw that I've heard that you need to take out. <laughs> no way, dude. Dude, this is the sh this is all we need. Cause this is all you need to save eight hundred dollars. It's all you need. Is it even focused? It is actually. Wow. Sexy. I can tell that's Yusuf. Oh. Oh. Oh God, I got to fix this. And as soon as he came, he was. that's all he does. All right, guys. So, hold on. Show him the cars. So I just want to take a second to acknowledge the cars that are currently here. So you got my beautiful Beamer. We got the Mustang. This Six is currently Ibrahim's car. It's a work in progress. Then we got the Mazda 3 over here. The gang, this is the gang car right Ooh, here. Daddy. We got the E36 and the 350Z. Jumping a snug before or what? Oh, daddy. Alright guys, so before we get into the rest of the screws, I did loosen up the screw back there, which as you guys can see. And then, um, so that's one of the screws. There's one right here, right there, um, and I believe there's one down here. You just get it? So this guy and that guy. But before we get to there, we have to also cover it up to make sure that the oil doesn't get on the belt. The belt does need to be replaced, but not for now. So we got to take off the air intake and pretty much the, the whole routing for it. So we just need a T20 socket. Uh, and then screw, take out these two bolts, and we got two bolts over there. Okay. Take out this. Should just come off fairly easy, there we go. Guys, we have this screw right here. We're also gonna have to take off the the oil filter, uh, we're just trying to release the pressure. We don't want all the oil just dropping out or all the coolant, whatever. So we're gonna release the pressure. So let, well, we want it to basically drain into the engine before we take it off. So it doesn't, you know, all come out all over the car. So you gotta take this lid off, you gotta take that screw off. And there's one back here, you see the end of it? It's basically on the other side. And uh, we're gonna have to try to get that screw out. 
I'm not sure if I can use the same head, and I'll let you guys know what head I'm going to be using. 2,000 years later. So guys, remember when it was daylight outside? When we had sunlight to film with? And uh, when the sky was shining bright blue and everyone was happy? And... <laughs> well, let's just get straight to the point, guys. Um, it took us like five hours to get this one screw out. And uh, we legit spent like 50 bucks on different kinds of wrenches and stuff, just trying to get the right, uh, pretty much the right wrench to open this thing up. And apparently we had it all along, it was, just, it was a very, very tough screw to get out. So we're gonna show you guys what exactly we did. There's all kinds of different web methods to get to it, but this is literally the hardest bolt. Whatever I said, the one behind the headers was the hardest bolt. You're a dumbass, I'm sorry. That is not the hardest bolt. That is a lie. Try to make sure you can get that first bolt out. And if you can't, don't take the rest of it apart. So at least you can drive your car and take it out of a mechanic, whatever you need to do. So we did end up taking a hose out of the way so we can unscrew it. Um, so, but that hose had all the coolant inside of it. So we had to drain all the coolant first. So we show you guys what we did. Um, and yeah, let's just show you guys. So that's your top rated hose right there, right? It's gonna, it connects into here. And that third bolt you guys need is right there. I apologize if all this comes out bad. We're, I'm really trying here. What you're going to want to do is completely disconnect this this whole hose and just get it out of your life. Just, I would honestly throw it out in the trash. Just then, what you're going to need, what it says and what the bolt calls for is an 8mm socket. What did you end up using when you finally got this thing off? Well, Let's honest, show them the weapon of madness. Is... I honestly this is what we ended up using. We got the regular swivel that we were originally using, but instead of the six uh, millimeter one, we just went down to I think a three millimeter, and uh, it gave me a, a lot more like it. It basically it, I had to put less power into it to get it out, less a little a lot less strength to get the screw out. And make sure when you guys are doing this, if you start feeling resistance, use some WD-40. Don't strip your bolt like we did. Because this bolt, this, it's trash Yeah, it's now, pretty much stripped. So. We're gonna, we're probably gonna end up ordering a new bolt, but we're gonna put this one back so at least the car is drivable. We're gonna be checking up on the bolt here and there to make sure it's not getting loose and the gasket's not causing us any problems. We're gonna move everything off to the side. Disconnect that. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. You gotta keep that connected. Why? We're gonna make sure we're gonna cover up everything down here because I'm pretty sure oil's gonna come out. So, uh, let's grab a few rags. All right, we're just making sure we're covering it up. Wow, the lighting is perfect. It's almost like it was daytime. So what we did so that it wouldn't drip, uh, we drained out the bottom, the radiator first, because we're replacing the coolant as well in this one. Um, so there's not, but if you're not changing out the coolant, then uh, it's gonna leak a lot. So just be aware of that. And guys, before we actually disconnected this, we did relieve the pressure, so all the oil did fall into the engine. Um, now we're just gonna be cleaning this up. Make sure we can get it as clean as possible. You guys can see that the gasket actually discon like uh, pretty much cracked here. And uh, you can see it went down there and everywhere around. So that's what BMW was talking about. So we're just going to give this a good cleaning. I will show you guys how it looks like once it's done. Alright guys, so basically what you want to do to get this guy as clean as possible. It doesn't need to be perfect, but get it as, as good as you really can. Uh, just take some alcohol and paper towels. And be very liberal with the alcohol and just pour it on the paper towel and then scrub. Don't be afraid to get, you know, get into it and get... Like, honestly, guys, it looks fine. You don't really need to do any more than this. Um, and, of course, you guys, I will let you know if anything goes wrong, but everything, you know, should be fine. We're going to start taking off the gasket right now, if you guys can see. I'm going to try to see from right here where the leakage... You can see it right around here. It is all... You can see this, right? You see all that? Shredded. It's all shredded and cut, and you guys can see that it actually was on there. So Alright guys, so we got a little bit of it coming off. Peel it all off now. Mm. It's like peeling off dead skin. Look at that guys, it is honestly terrible. I don't even know how the cone does it to it, I guess the heat just went that bad and just melted it. So. Honestly, it is spongy. It's not really hard, so I didn't really get that bad, but I heard if it gets really, really hard, that's when you know you messed up. And again, now, we're going to grab our dirty rag. I think it's my good rag. Well, I mean, that's no good anymore, but I'll probably get some new ones from Harbor Freight. And just start cleaning it off. Probably want to put a screwdriver, flathead, 
go in between there, make sure the oil is out because the oil shouldn't have been there even in the first place. All right guys, so right now we got it pretty much cleaned up. There's some things you just can't take off, it's fine. We're gonna put the gasket back on. This should only go on one way, shouldn't be that hard. All right guys, so we're bringing it right around over here. Gonna line it up. And what I'm gonna do is put in this screw up top here. I feel like that's the main one to actually hold it down. Just gonna put that in there. And uh, so I'm just going to put this bolt in, put that bolt in, and tighten them all up at the same time. Um, so now we're just going to put the air duct back in there. And then we're going to put some, what's it called? We're going to basically be... Distilled water. Distilled water. But for this video, guys, um, it was just basically for the oil filter gasket. So if you did enjoy the video, um, smash that like button. It was just for the oil filter gasket. I'm going to be making a part two for the whole coolant system. If your coolant's also contaminated, that could be uh, an effect of having your gasket, um, you know, leaking. So that'd be a part two to this video. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Help me. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love her, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.